Okay, this is going to be a different video because one, I am going to be standing. This is probably the first video I've done in a very long time where I've actually stood. So Dungeons and Dragons has become more than a game to me. Uh, it is a social gathering in quarantine for me, uh, something I look forward to every single week. A place where I can hang out with all of my friends and create content online and on this YouTube channel and on my personal channel and creating a Twitch stream, watching all of these other Twitch streams, Instagram memes, TikToks that I could spend four to five hours a day on. Dungeons and Dragons has been a big blessing in my life and today we're going to talk about why I play D&D. Hello there and welcome to Tales of Octavia, we are a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons podcast. In case this is the first time meeting, my name is Francis and I am the Dungeon Master of the group. We stream our game every Monday at 7pm Central Standard Time. I'll leave a link down in the description down below. And today we're going to talk about why we play D&D. You know, the biggest thing that I see is story. We want to tell stories, we want to share stories, we want to experience that collaborative storytelling. We want to feel like we've come from nothing. We want that underground, badass story of how we all came to be and how we rose to the greatness and defeated bad guys and saved a kingdom and all that good stuff. Maybe we also want theater. As a DM, I love watching my players solve the problems that I put in front of them. I love watching them think and try to grow as a group and I guess by proximity I as a dungeon master also grow with them. I want to see them get emotional. I I want them to scream and yell and cheer whenever they roll a natural 20. I want them to yell in anger and infuriation whenever they roll a natural one. And that's Okay, I mean, sometimes we need something different. And that's also a good reason to play D&D. Sometimes it's the combat. We wanna do some badass tricks that you would see in a movie or a video game. And we want to Im use our imagination to build this combat scenario in our minds. Maybe we want to make a badass character with the highest stats, with optimizing a class with quirky builds because unlike a video game or a novel or a movie these characters are not designed by other people or writers they are designed by you maybe it's for the role play be someone you're not maybe you just want to go back to a different time you want to come up with this beautiful scenery. Maybe you live in a small town and as far as the eye can see, there's nothing, but in this fictional world, you can see everything. Maybe you just wanna feel that times are different and that despite all the bad that's happening in the world out there, we use D&D as this escape to think of a better way to Live? Question mark? My point in this video is that D&D &D is for everyone. And I hope that some of the reasons that I talked about here highlights that. And I hope this inspires you too. Anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I know it's a little bit, it's a, today's video is a different kind of video than all the previous content. And I'm super excited to announce that I'm going to be posting all my D&D content on this channel for Tales from now on. So if you want to stay tuned for more D&D content, hit that subscribe button down below as new videos will be made every single week. And as always, we love you very much and I will see you in the next episode. So bye guys. I believe... <laughs> He, he believes in he's us. He's not a fighter. <laughs> he should become a bard. He could inspire us. Oh, he has to be a lover to be a bard. Is he a lover?